so starting from the first line to the sixth line these are the comment section you can write anything uh, after the backslash uh, so this is not so important this is just my new information so the main program starts from number eight line number eight uh, so these lines that are highlighted here are actually the libraries that are required to make this program work uh, the first two uh, are the OLED display, the Adafruit graphics library and the Adafruit SSD 136, 1306 OLED display library. These are the OLED libraries as defined here. And the 11 to number 12 line, these are the heart rate calculation and the max 30105 library. So these are required to calculate the heart rate and also to in integrate or use the max 30102 sensor with the Arduino. And then we create uh, some variables actually which stores uh, a few datas uh, so in number 16 num line uh, this actually stores the number of the averaging that the sensor will do or the Arduino will do by capturing the data through the sensor so it is written 17 here it can be anything the larger the number the higher the processing time it will take so take care of that next uh, in 17 number line is the array which stores the heart rate in 18 number line it is the heart rate spot that is initialized as zero there is also this last beat this is also uh, initialized as zero and this is the variable which will uh, assess the time at which the last beat was occurred as defined here uh, so these are the few more variables that are required next we come to number 23 through to 25 uh, from number 23 and 24 line are the OLED display width and the height according to the pixel this can be anything according to the size of the OLED screen that you're working with and if your OLED display or the display breakout board actually has a reset pin uh, then it can be other numbers and if it is not and sharing the reset pin I recommend this uh, so it, it can it is minus one next we come to number 27 where it declares the display name uh, this is where the uh, ssd 1306 oled display gets initialized uh, according to the screen width and height as defined here uh, and the reset also gets defined here uh, so what happens here is that it displays the adafruit library uh, or the logo sorry the screen width and height as defined here uh, and the reset also gets defined here uh, so what happens here is that it displays the adafruit library uh, or the logo sorry from 29 to 33 is the smaller heart shaped bitmap image and from 35 to 43 is the larger bitmap image of the heart shape uh, so these will be called at later stage next we come to 46 number line uh, where we do the uh, setup process uh, so what it does uh, is that here in this line I have set the rotation uh, of the display because I have accidentally hot glued it in in the opposite direction that it was supposed to be so I rotated the display you can do it with this next we start the OLED display with the help of this code then we give a delay of three seconds and then we initialize the sensor with these three lines uh, so the first three line, uh, the first of the three line actually, uh, is the initialization of the default I2C port at 400 kilohertz. Uh, next is the configuring the sensor to the default settings, and third is after the sensor is initialized, the red LED on the sensor gets pulled to a lower state of brightness to show that it is ready. Next we go into the looping stage where it gets the infrared value from the sensor. Uh, also, it detects the heartbeat uh, along with this. So I have run uh, if condition uh, that if the IR value, that is the infrared sensor value, is greater than fifty thousand, then the finger is placed. That is, it has detected a finger. And then what we do is we clear the display and we draw the first bit bamp image. That is the smaller one. Uh, set the text size and the color. So the color is actually. For my display, it is not so necessary, but I just kept it for generalization. Uh, then we set the cursor and write BPM. Then we again set the cursor and then we display the average beats per minute that 
we are storing from the sensor into beat average variable. So if the beat average variable, this value stored here is greater than 40, then only we display the beat average. This is actually my custom coding. Uh, and if it is lower than 40, then it shows a message read as highlighted in 76 number line. Next, we again set the cursor and we want to display the SPO2. So it writes the SPO2 and then we again set the cursor. And again, an if statement is here that if the sensor value is greater than uh, this value, then we display 99. So why I have done this is because actually the SPO2 values go beyond 100. So that is not at all realistic. So I have just generalized that if it is greater than 100, so it is 99. Uh, you can change this or even omit this to get the real value. Uh, next another if condition if it is less than 100,000 the IR value uh, then we just print the IR value divided by 1000 because if we take out 1000 from here it gives us 100 so similarly if it is 99,000 so it will give 99 so that is why I have just divided it with the help of 1000 to give the percentage value that we are accustomed with next uh, we check along with an if condition that if a heartbeat is detected if the heartbeat is detected then we again do the same thing of printing everything bpm spo2 and all the values that i have described in the earlier if condition so we draw the larger bitmap image now again set the text uh, the color and size set the cursor bpm the same if condition is run again and this goes on up to 125 number line then what we do uh, is within the value or the variable delta uh, we measure the duration between the two heartbeats and then we calculate the BPM with the help of this line and then to calculate the BPM we store some values so this is done in here and a lot of math is done over here uh, that is the data that is collected and stored within the variables those are actually averaged and a lot of other calculations are also done to print the uh, last bpm value and from 147 number line we see that if the ir value is less than 7000 this means that there is no finger being placed so it displays the place your finger message along with on the oxyduino on the second line and my name is also here on the third line you can so this is the code of the oximeter i have explained this in this video uh, i am no expert by any means so i have explained it as far as i can uh, if you have any more question feel free to drop it in the comments or contact me my contact information is given in the description i will try to help you all out uh, as far as i can uh, so with that i'm ending this video so have a great day Wow.